Hey y'all, um, sorry about the lighting. The sun is doing something crazy. I'm on the way to take Mason to the ER because he has he started wheezing this morning, or I just noticed it this morning. I, don't, I didn't hear it last night because um, I got off work about 9.30 and he was still up when I got home. And he wasn't wheezing or anything, but this morning when he got up, well, he got up about two or three, well, not three, like one, like two times last night, or this morning, this is why I'm so tired, I'm drinking um, a double shot of energy, Starbucks, or Starbucks, I can't ever say it right, but anyway, so I'm really tired, he's, he's wheezing, so that's why I'm taking him to the ER, he's had like a cold since, I think it started Friday, he just got like mucus in his, um, what is it, like the word congested, pretty much. It's the first time he's ever been sick, so. But that's pretty much it. It's not thick mucus or anything. Because, um, Jonathan was telling me this method to blow in his mouth and it'll shoot out his nose. That sounds crazy. I'm not going to put my mouth on my son, son's mouth or whatever. And you know YouTube. Anything is on pretty much on YouTube that you want to see or want to know how to do or whatever. It's pretty much on YouTube. So I went on YouTube. Lo and behold, somebody, they blew in their baby's mouth and it shot out of their nose. So not much came out of his nose when I did that. But yeah, he and he's been um not eating very well. Y'all yeah, can't stand when somebody stares at me. Like you see the car, you don't notice. You don't notice the car because you don't know who I am. Why are you staring? That's so rude. <laughs> and as usual, there is no... Look at all these cars. There is nowhere to park at this... Here's one. Okay, so I'm at the ER. If you can see. Right there. Um, To check on... To see why he's wheezing... I, kind of, I hate that he's wheezing because Kobe had has this problem too because he just got over a cold too. I'm assuming that's why Mason got sick because of Kobe. Um, because it, Kobe wheezes when he does get a cold and he has a, um, I don't know what that machine's called. I call it a breathing machine, whatever. And I thought about just giving Mason that, but I don't want to do that because I don't really know why he's wheezing. But I have asthma or I had asthma. I, grew out of it. I don't have any problems with it or anything, but I did when I was a kid. I had like the, used an inhaler and took breathing treatments and all that jazz. And um they haven't diagnosed um I had a lot of my doors with that man that was staring at me a while ago. He's kinda like patrolling not patrolling because he's not he don't he's not he don't work here. He's just walking around the parking lot. Like he's up to something, but um. Anyway, I keep looking at him. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, Cubby isn't diagnosed with asthma or anything. The most they said he had when he was little was like bronchitis or something. But he still wheezes and stuff like that. And now Mason is starting to do that, and I need to go here and see what's going on. I'm probably gonna be in here all day, y'all, because my this emergency room is the slowest emergency room ever. But here we go, y'all.
So I feel a little bit better now. I know what RSV is. Um, it's basically a cold. It's basically a cold for babies. Now, if I get a cold, it's like RSV, but to babies, um, it's harder for them to get over it because they're so young. Um, but they're going to monitor him and his oxygen levels and stuff. That's basically why he's staying overnight. Um, I just hope he gets better because they said it gets worse on the fifth day or so. This is like day like day three. Um, I don't know, y'all. Because he's staying overnight tonight. Like I said, it's the third night or the third day he's had, had it. And like the fifth day is like, what, Tuesday? And he's supposed to hopefully go home tomorrow. But I'm like, the fifth day will be, he'll be home by the time the fifth day comes around. But, um, yeah, he is being admitted. Quit Mason, yeah, little crazy baby. Look at him. <laughs> he just started doing it. They had to stick him. They tried to put the IV in his feet. They had to stick him there. And stick him there. And they couldn't get it in. Um, and then they had to send in a, someone from like an IV team specialist or whatever. She came in and got it in this one. That's why it's all wrapped up and stuff. So he won't yank it out and things like that. But they're going to put him on fluids. Because I told him he's not really... His feedings aren't, he don't finish his bottle or he'll speed it back up, throw it back up or whatever. I have no idea why that's beeping. But, um, yeah, I'm going to stay with him overnight. Jonathan probably will be here too, I'm not sure, but I don't want to leave. And then I'm going to go to work tomorrow and Jonathan will be here with him. And then when Jonathan goes to work, I think his mom will be here until I get off or something like that. Somebody will be here with him at all times. But yeah, my little Mason has an RSV. Mason, he's trying to rip the cord out of that little crazy baby. He seems so happy. My poor baby, he's got them little legs sticking up. He loves the camel. He loves the camel. Mason boy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just a kicking away. They say he'll get um worse before he gets better. That's what made me cry, y'all. I, well, I cried more because I didn't really understand what RSV really was, but I feel a little bit better. But I never had one of my kids being hospitalized before. So. Just love my baby. I do. I love my little Mason. Y'all keep them in your prayers. Okay, so they got um, the fluid going in his IV, finally. Let's see right there. Right there. His little fluid. Okay. I uh, called Jonathan and everything, so he should be up here soon, but I'll let you guys know of any updates or anything. For some or all of your future payments, we give you a lump sum of cash now. And since this isn't a personal loan, there's no 095 for your free cash out That's 100 0095 So it's 5.38. We've been here since about 9.30 this morning. Probably about 9, 9.15, 9.30, something like that. So we've been here for a while. Um... We, 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 the ER here is like really, really slow, but it seems like pregnant people or people in labor or babies, like really small babies, are like top priority. 
Um, because we didn't wait very long in the ER, and they took us to the ER room, and this is the room, the, the actual room where he's, he'll be um staying in. But um, they write on this board over here, right here, and they got where it said today's plan is to maintain. Today's plan, their goal is to maintain adequate ad ad adequate oxygen levels. So, that's pretty much what I just said, but while he's here overnight, that's what they're doing is monitoring his um, breathing and oxygen and all that, so, he's getting tired of laying there. <laughs> he loves the camera. I'm waiting on somebody to get here, like, either my mom, my mom was supposed to be on the way, um, and I'm um, either waiting on her or Jonathan, somebody to get here so I'm able to go get him some more clothes. Because right now he's naked under the um, covers and it's kind of chilly in here. And um, he can't wear the um, sleeper I got him with the, um, here I'll show you. I'm not sure what this thing is called. I call it a sleeper, y'all. But you, like this. With the feet in him. I don't want him to wear that because he has the IV in his foot right here. Well, you guys know. And um, that'll cover it up and everything. He'll he'll be better off wearing a onesie right now. But I want to go home and get him them things and a bigger blanket because they have another, um, they have a bit, another blanket. But it's like an adult size blanket. It's way too big for him. But um, I want to get him another blanket bigger blanket you know for his size at the house and I need to get my clothes for work tomorrow because I'm gonna go to work while Jonathan's here with them I don't want to go to work but I'm just waiting on somebody to come so I can go do what I gotta do so I can be here because visiting hours are over at 9 and it's, like I said it's 5 like 5 was well, 541 now so Someone needs the hobby so mama can come back and stay with the baby. Oh, let me get that. Well, that was good. He sneezed. A lot of that mucus come up. Yeah. You feel better? Oh, he's not gonna. Let me suction his nose. Then put some of this in his nose. Saline. Whatever. Spray. I can't even say it. nose spray. I'm saying nose spray. Saline spray. He put they put some of that in his nose and I have to suction his nose. They'd be two of these. But I use this one to suction his nose. He hates it, but got to do it. Nine twenty seven. Got daddy over there pulling out the bed or whatever daddy. Pulling out the bed. He's pulling out a little couch thingy. I got to go to work in the morning, so I think they see it when I, cause I just came from the house. I had washed and got my clothes. And they told Jonathan that he'd probably leave tomorrow, so. What on earth is he doing? But he's just started wheezing again, but they just gave him my own breathing treatment. Sonky's like still wheezing, though. But uh, he's sleepy. Can't really tell, but he's sleepy. It's just a lot going on in here. We got the game on the TV, the Super Bowl on TV. <laughs> but Jonathan's about to start some homework. So far, he's supposed to be leaving tomorrow. So. What's wrong, babe? <laughs> I'll look at Oh my god. It stinks in here, too. Because we have to write down his diaper changes, the wet and the dirt dirty ones, and his bottles. Jonathan wrote it. But we have to keep the diapers over there. One of them's dirty, so it stinks in here. <laughs> 
Look at my stomach. I still got the line right there. That line is still there. Six months ago. Sorry, I, I can't really see me, but I'm on my way to work. I'm sitting in the car to let it warm up. I gotta be there at 7, so whenever I get off, and I'll let you guys know to update on them and stuff like that. Hey, y'all, this is on um, today's Tuesday. I didn't get a film yesterday. Going to my baby's room. Five twenty-five. Ah, so, yeah, my baby. He's still hooked up to his IV. Um, got fluids. This is day three. Um, I weren't able to do this with him, like hold him like this. Yesterday, day two. Day two yesterday was like a really, 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 really 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 busy day like I got off work I had got off work at um three o'clock and I had got Kobe and he went to the house and I had to get his clothes up for the week just in case I kept him for a week I had to get him some more clothes for the rest of the week and me so I had to pay all three of us a full week's worth of clothes and I took a shower, blah, blah, blah. And then try to kind of straighten the house up a little bit. Because that was my only day I was going to plan on being at home was yesterday. So I tried to get everything done. And I think I left there about six-ish. I had to, like, feed Kobe and get him some snacks to have at my mom's house. And then I dropped him off. Um, got me and Jonathan something to eat and came home. Not came home. Came here to the hospital. Um, came here. I, I think I finally got to the hospital about 7-ish. 7.30 or something like that. I think it might have been 8 o'clock. So, I was really, 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 really tired. But yesterday, he had... I got pictures... I'm pretty sure I didn't record any footage of it. But I do have pictures of him. Um, they had him on oxygen. And his nose. Um, need a little bit of help breathing, I guess. I wasn't here when they did it. Um, I was at, That's when I was at work. And that's what Jonathan told me. But, as you can see, he's not on it anymore. Thank God. Um, they hadn't really told us yet if he's staying again at night. But yeah, that's pretty much the update on him. Um, I feel like he's doing good, but at the same time, he is still coughing. When I got here yesterday, they did have him, um, they gave him a bruising treatment. And um, every, one, every once in a while, like every, I don't know how often they do it. It's like every hour, every so often, I don't know. They come here and get his temperature and his blood pressure. I do that throughout the night too. So you already know me and Jonathan has have not been sleeping. And um Jonathan has been out of work. He hasn't been to work all week. Well it's only Tuesday. <laughs> he ain't got to work yesterday or today. And um he's planning on staying up here until he gets out. Jonathan's going to um get a change of clothes and stuff because he's been in his hospitals for a while. <laughs> he's been up here all day yesterday, all day today. So, yeah, he's going to 
to the house to get a change of clothes and um get us something to eat. <coughs> so yeah, me and Mason are gonna be chilling today. And you wouldn't think he was sick because he's so happy. Look at him. He knows the camera. You know the camera. Some of you guys are probably wondering why he doesn't have his helmet on. Um, the, They told, not people here, but the people that made the helmet, they said if he ever has a, hold on. You guys can't see me. It's getting kind of dark. They said if he ever had a fever that he can't wear the helmet because, you know, the helmet already... Makes his head hot, so it's not good to wear it while you have a fever. So that's why he hasn't been wearing it, or that's why he doesn't have it on now. He hasn't. He had. I took it off. Yeah, I took it off Sunday when we come up here. Because once they told me he had a fever, I took it off. <laughs> so. Poor baby. Let me go see about my baby. just come here and check on him and she said he keeps up um you know breathing good and everything overnight that he will leave tomorrow so we're gonna have to stay again tonight but she turned um like the um IV with the fluid she said it's, it's like it has a number on it she said she turned it down because if it's like really high It'll cause him not to have an appetite. And it was like on 30 or something. And that's on 10. I didn't tell you guys day one pretty much, I don't think. Um, but the whole reason why I come here was because he was wheezing. Because he'd been sick since Friday. Last week. He started, um, his nose started running. He started coughing and stuff like that. And it's his first time ever getting sick. And then Sunday morning, like early, because he kept me up. He, he woke up about 4, and I think I had fed him. It was like two hours later, which was like 8 or 9. We um, I, woke, I went in there to him, and he was wheezing, and I was like, nah, I got to take you to the ER. And we went in the ER alone, and we went straight to the, we went straight to a room It was like, it's like we was in a room. It's like a big room, and it's like divided, and it's divided um with a curtain. Y'all, we was in our little section, and there, like I said, there's a curtain between everybody. So you can hear, you know, conversations going, but you can't see anybody. And the, the old guy that was beside us, oh my God, he kept moving his little curtain, peeping through. Something was seriously wrong with that guy. That gave him two. Two breathing treatments. I think I, I'm not sure if I told you guys or not. I'm going to tell you again. But they gave him two breathing treatments. Um, they took um, a chest x-ray of his. They had him in like a, some kind of thingy. Where he had both his arms up like this. It was like, like that. And he was stuck like that. Like they had something here and something here holding his arms up. Keeping his arms up. To keep, you know, the baby still. Or keep him still. And they got some x-rays of his chest. And um. They tested him for. I know one was for RSV. I think the other one was the flu. Yeah. I think it was a flu. If I ain't mistaken. And he didn't have a flu. But he had RSV. And yeah, once he told me that, I did not know really what that was, so I had cried my eyes out. Because Cubby's never been hospitalized before, ever. So it was a, this is the first thing. 
first time thing for me. But yeah, this is that was day one. Like I said, day two I couldn't really vlog because it was really really busy. And this is day three, and hopefully the last day. So <sighs> I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and let you guys know. Or if anything else happens today, I'll let you guys know. So today is day four. He got released. It's three o'clock. Well, I, got, I just got off work and called Jonathan to see if they had got released yet. And they was on the way up to getting released. So I drove all the way to the hospital for nothing because I was going to drive there to help him, you know, take the baby out and stuff. But by the time I got there, he was already walking out with the baby. So officially hospital free they told him to um for us to keep suctioning suctioning his nose getting all that you know gunk out his nose the mucus or whatever y'all excuse me right now because it is hot outside and as soon as i got home we got all the stuff in yeah it's we, we got to clean up and stuff so yeah all that stuff from being away from the house for three days or something like that three or four days three days and four nights or something like that here's the baby hi mama baby you happy little your toes anyway yeah my baby is home now i'm about to give him a good bath and I'm going to have to put his helmet back on so yeah yeah I'm so happy to be home it's not even funny <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead oop, sorry y'all I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here and um, thank all thank you all who have prayed um, from the last video where I announced that I was in the hospital thank you to everyone that's been praying for him he is home now. Thank you guys for on watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you sub. Oh my god. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And that's a wrap, y'all. Bye.